Well, 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 well. Well. Welcome back, everyone. And today, today, on Workstation Wednesday, we will be printing off a stained glass stencil. That's correct. This is part one of the video. Part one is where we create or we print the stained glass, and in the next video, we will create the actual stained glass itself. So first, first off, what we need to do is we need to find a stencil that we like that we can use for stained glass. So I will leave a link in the description down below to this current one that we're going to be testing out here. And it's going to be this woof right here. So there's a few things we need to do about this first before we can actually hit the slice button. So what we need to know, we need to know a thing or two about our printer. So I have an Anycubic Mega X and it has a uh, it moves, the print bed moves on the Y axis and the print head moves on the X axis, right? So we want to try to keep the movement of the bed to a minimum and we would, we would like our print head to move the most. So first what we gotta do though is we gotta put our, boom, we gotta put our actual piece onto the bed itself. We're gonna scale this up to probably about 140 percent and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to change this position again we're going to want to, oh, not this one my bad we're going to want to change this position to be 90 degrees this way this way um the print head is going back and forth and the actual print or the print head yes the print head is going back and forth and the print bed is only slightly moving it is going to be moving but it has um it has a shorter distance to travel this way. So we're going to put it this way. I'm going to put it at a one uh, millimeter, a point one millimeter height because I, I have the most luck with it. But you never know. We'll have to see what we come out with. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a time lapse of the printing of this, and we'll come back, take a look at it, and we'll take it from there. See you in a bit.
I think the print came off okay uh, the problem though is that right here if you zoom in here you can see there was a little bit of a warpage there's a warpage on the print itself I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can do but I do have a backup plan I printed off printed off two other prints just in case and actually let me grab them real quick so this is probably the one that we're going to be printing off or you know putting resin in is is probably this one so what i did is i glued it with some elmer's glue onto a piece of wax paper and um this will help us seal all of those spots so that when we dump in the resin and we use our uv light it'll seal it in there nice and tight so yeah in the next video we'll do this we'll put in the the resin and test all that out so until the next video i'll see you all later peace out